She's been abusing me. Hello, hello, and welcome to Saints Speak on this channel. We Start will... over. Ladies, don't start now. Okay. Hello, hello, and welcome to Saints Be on this channel. We meet again. Today, we're going to give Lady a mini makeover. As you can see, she needed desperately. She needed it like yesterday, but since today, she has not given birth as of yet. We're going to go ahead and do this before the baby comes into this world. I think that's why the baby has not come into the world, because she kind of jacked up right now. Have my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing and everything. But you remember she put all these multiple colors in her hair. Have not been taking care of her hair at all. So I'm going to show you. This is the before. I'm going to show you all the items that we're going to use. We're going to go ahead and make this black. And then we're going to do my healthy no knot box braids on natural hair. A lot of people have been asking for it. It's coming. Let's go ahead and take care of this portion of it first before we get over into doing the healthy no knots box spray. So I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer. Take a look at our head from 360. Come on, come on in. Okay, so this is Lady's hair before. I know what y'all saying because I said the same thing what off camera. Mm -hmm. I just can't see it repeated mm -hmm. on camera because this is a. Okay. It's a family show. Did you? Oh my God. All right, don't be all I'm laying hands thing. on you, girl. Stay still. Do you see this? Y'all know this is this just not right. It's not right. But baby, this is the before. Wait till you meet after. This is before. This is before. This is before. Okay, honey, I think we get it. Okay, so let's zoom in on the table to see the things that we're going to use. If you're going to color your hair in a permanent or a demi color, you're still going to need a developer and this is good for sensitive scab i love ion the color i will be using today is this number this black by wella and that is the in the number one in slash zero five one in black that's what we're going to put in our hair and i actually bought enough because after i do her hair i'm going to do my hair so i had i have three so after I finish lady hair, I'm going to do mine. I bought three permanent colors in black. It was buy two, and we got one free. We're going to use these caps. These are the plastic everyday caps you can put on for deep conditioning or whatever you want to use it for. We're going to lightly outline the perimeters of her head. We have the different size combs, clamps to clamp off the hair. I'm going to use it, everything I'm going to mix inside of this bottle to make it easier for me. I prepped her net with some net ties. You don't have to use this. You can use a towel. And as you see, she has on a cape, which I have many of capes. Bought so many capes. She was in school and then she dropped out. So I got a lot of them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, one more picture of before. We're going to get one more front picture. Before she go to push and push, push, breathe in, breathe out, and push. I want to go ahead and mix my color. I'm gonna take my color and go ahead and mix that now. And what you do, this is a permanent hair color in black. You're gonna take the end of that puncture, it's gonna open it up. And I would not be using a mixing bowl, I'm gonna use this bottle and see it the squirt bottle and I'm going to squeeze all of this color this permanent color in here and the ratio is one pack of coloring to two parts of your developer if you need to have a measuring device to measure your developer you can but I'm not going to use one this go around because I don't need it make sure I get all that in there No, we ain't wasting no product, right? Okay. Now, when it comes out, it's not going to look black. It may be another color. And once you mix in your developer, that's when the color is going to start taking place. And while that's taking place, I can go ahead and, and um, baseline her perimeter of her head with the Vaseline. So just to make sure to ensure that we don't get any coloring everywhere. Y'all see, I'm trying hard to get up all this up out of him. 
Okay, that's it. So I've used all of that. The next thing I want to do is open my developer. So we're going to go ahead and mix this developer inside of a... Uh, Ooh, that's a lot and the reason I bought this big old thing because you know I got to do my weave I think you need to mind your own damn business because you could have did this yourself you went to school for t a month here didn't y'all get to this part apparently not she got me doing a hair so she gonna leave me the hell alone day you gonna leave me the hell alone day little girl Okay, let me clean up my mess because she got me making a mess. That's two parts. One part, two parts, and you want to mix that very well. Got me talking this mess on this camera. Shut up. Once I mix this very well, I'm going to sit this off to the side and allow it to start developing the color, which is black. Mix very well if you're going to use a model like this. So I've mixed the permanent color inside this container. Now I gotta shake it up, 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 shake it Okay, so we're gonna place this over to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and grease around the perimeter of her fat head. My scalp. Fat head. We're gonna do, I ain't doing your scalp, we're just gonna do the round the edge of her damn hair. It can't get no worse than what it looked like. What you think? She gonna get a little bit of this grease, cause I gotta use this grease later on, honey. She got a little bit. Yes. I'm just gonna lightly go around here. That stuff is cold. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what. what. Then you got me doing this and I ain't putting no damn gloves on. See, the, these kids about to drive me crazy. They about to drive me crazy. Excuse me. After I do her, shut up. <laughs> After I do the damn line, I gotta put my gloves on. Doesn't really feel like you put any in the back. Yeah, I'm gonna put some in the back, your neck and neck. Okay, y'all, now let me put my gloves on. Girl got me doing this stuff. I ain't even got no gloves on. Damn it. Oh, they'll fit. Say something. Your hands Say are something. like gloves. Say something. They're like, they're like concrete. I know I got some rough, at, uh, some rough hands. <laughs> I know what I got, baby. I'm a hard work. I'm a superwoman. And when you're a superwoman, you have hands like this. Okay? Okay, so now I have my gloves, gloves on. I should have put them on in the beginning, but I did not. Now I'm going to lightly, I'm not going to comb through our hair. You can't, come on now. We're going to lightly try to separate. Oh, honey, this is too thick. You can't be doing that. Shut up. Got these folks in the Shut up. We're going to lightly section that off. But you have a lot of new growth on your scalp. Yeah. You should have took it down from what well, was braided. Well, I thought she was going to do it then. Well, hell, yeah. she went to school. He'd be going places and no one ain't going to finish it. But she's going back. <laughs> she's going back. <laughs> yeah. That to get my money. Okay. That's one section. We're going to go over here to the other side and do another half, which will make it four. Now her hair is really, really dry, people. And I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. Just lightly. Just very because I'm, I'm as I'm touching her hair, I mean it's very dry. I'm going to spread of just a tad bit to give it some moisture. Or put a little almond oil inside of that um color. Okay. Well we got dangerous. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start applying this color in our head. As you can see, it has fully mixed very well. So like I said, if you can go ahead and mix it up and leave it to the side as you prep your scalp, that is a good thing to do. We're going to start in the back and work our way up to the front. I went ahead and sprayed it lightly so it could have some type of moisture to it because it is really, really dry. If you don't want to do that within this bottle, bottle go ahead or in your bowl, go ahead and add just a, about a cap full of of your favorite oil to that color. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let me let me say this now. Please let me say this now. Please. I am heavy handed. So I am not causing any kind of harm whatsoever to her. Ouch. Okay, keep on playing. <laughs> keep playing. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm doing this a little bit different than I would a relaxer. I like to go around all four sides first. This is this is what you don't want to do when you're doing a relaxer, but with this color, I like to hit my edges first. Because I really want it to stain or I want the color to really take around the edges. So go ahead and do your edges first. So I'm going to go ahead and complete the other three sections. I'm going to go around the baseline of her hair really good. And then we're going to come back and start working it on the inside of their head. Oh, we're going to come back and work the hair. We're going to come and put the shit on the hair. <laughs> See the purpose for that, Vaseline? Just in case you get it somewhere else and you want it to come off because you don't want it to stain around the hairline. I'm doing mine next. Oh, no, these grays got to go. They can come back later on, but right now. Okay, let me do this. I think we need to do your eyebrows, too, for a little hour. What's on my eyebrows? You need a minute makeup. I just told him we're doing a minute makeup well, Can you do you. my, paint my feet, too? Girl? Nine. I can't reach down there. Well, yeah, what you can't see, you don't need to do. What? Because you can't see down there either. Kinda. No, you can't. For some reason, it's the reverse method. It's like the edges, are. T it takes longer to take in the color than it would for the rest of the hair. But we're going to tackle those edges first, and then we're going to go. Hold oh, still for me, please. So while that's sitting there and it's basing around the edge of our hair, I'm going to take one of my knit ties. That's going to come right up, but still, I don't want it to sit there. You see how that Vaseline is protecting her hairline? It's coming right on off. Okay, we started out in fours. Now we're not going to end up with fours because we're going to take our comb. And I really need my rat tail comb, but we don't know where it's at. You see how that color is beginning to take around the nape of her ear, uh, hairline? That's what you want your edges to take first. That. and it's looking this way because we did it in fours first so do you see how that 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 color is taking this is why i do coloring this way i'm just gonna go across My main concern is making sure that the roots are colored first, and then I will go back and do our edges. And allow this to sit since it's for sensitive scab. And what what grade is your natural hair? What grade is your natural hair? 3A. I'm just kidding. She lying. <laughs> I'm just like, 4A. That's what she hoping this baby gonna have. Mm -hmm. She got some 4F hair. What? Oh, honey, yeah. I have like four A. Um, four F. No, honey. I should have. Why everybody want to have the three, the two, the one? Damn, can somebody have the four Fs? It's not four F. Where it is now? <laughs> Cause looking at this, it looks like a four F. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this all over and come back so I can kind of hurry up with it. Okay, I have applied all of this coloring or this color to her hair. As you can see now, look around her edges. You see how I got, I have that color all around the baseline of her neck? That's fine. You're not going to have it perfect. So when I get ready to wipe that off, I'm going to wipe it off and show you. Look. It's going to come right up. I'm going to put some more back on here. You see how that came up? Let me put some more Vaseline around there. 
That's why I tell you put some Vaseline around the perimeter. I'm gonna put that back. I got it on the side, got it on her ear a little bit. Things happen. This is her hair colored all over. I'm not gonna comb it. You just wanna work it in real good with your fingers. So now I'm gonna take her plastic cap, cover her head for about, about 10, 15 minutes. And then we're gonna rinse it out with some cool water, not hot. And then I'm gonna shampoo. With this shampoo, it's a moisturizing shampoo. And as you can see, I'm a cleanage kind of girl. I will buy any kind of shampoo and apply my moisture into my shampoo, like the almond oil. Any kind of oil you use, olive oil, almond oil, it doesn't matter. And here's my conditioner. This is a oil cream base conditioner by Matrix. I still will be adding a little bit more almond oil to this as well when I apply it to her hair. But right now, I'm going to allow this to sit on her hair. Do you see that? Let me see. Can I? I'm not going to comb it. But I want to show you this. You see how well that color is taken? Do you see that? And it looks so rich. This color, look at her scab. It's not even on the scab. Look. Because remember, we applied. We didn't apply Vaseline through your scalp. No, we applied the oil. We sprayed it. That's why it looks like that. It's not even on her scalp. Let's go ahead and allow this to sit. I will be right back in 15 minutes. So this is the finished result of a lady's coloring. It took pretty good. Her edges took real good. As you can see around her edges, wiped away all of that excess color that drained around or so now i'm going to go ahead and spray our hair with this matrix color care shine i love this i use this on my natural hair as well just going to use a little bit of that to put in more moisture in her head very good it's not sticky or anything now i can't live without this if you have never tried this nika k flat iron keratin heating spray you need to go check this out because this is good on any hair texture okay so the color took very well can you turn to the side for me yay no more green hair i'm gonna part her hair in four seconds and apply my matrix shine on there don't need a whole lot I'm not gonna use a whole lot because i bought this on clearance regular price for this was like 15 16 dollars i got it for it said $3.97, but you know I had a coupon, right? Okay, that's enough of that. And then I'm going to go in here with my Tai Chi, tai Chi Black Flat Iron, which is by Sprite by Nika K. I love this stuff. Can't live without it. I had four bottles of it. Because anytime I do my wigs, my hair, I'm using this first before I blow dry or flat iron it because it's going to give you that straight appearance as if you have had a relaxer that's how good it is okay i'm going to gently comb this through her hair section it off in fours once again and we're going to begin to blow dry the hair i'm going to come back and let you see that once i'm finished since lady is going to get my no knots healthy box braids to her natural hair I want her edges to be just a little bit more straightened than this. So I will be bevel iron, uh, flat ironing her hair around the edges. Really the whole entire head on a low heat because when I start the braiding process, I want it to last her. At least, I'm going to try to make it last for two months. If she leave her hair alone and just let me take care of it, all of this will grow back. All that. Like I said, she need a trim, but... I'm not going to be able to trim my hair with this go around because I want to have an uneven amount of hair. Because if I go ahead and trim my hair right now, when I braid her hair, it's going to stop. You're going to see where it stops at. And you really want it to blend in all over where you don't see me looking at it. It has just a slight hint of that green undertone. Press to the back a little bit. That is how her hair is looking. I know it's looking like Don King's daughter. <laughs> you got jokes, huh? Girl, you better hope this don't make it to Google. Because somebody's going to say, look at Don King's daughter. Look at the back. 
See, I'm, I'm going to have to grip all that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and flat iron her hair. I just want it to be screened a little bit more. So when I start my braiding technique, everything is going to blend. And it's going to last her, hopefully for two months. But it's going to make her hair really grow. So for the next three months, if she let me do her hair, you're going to see how it's going to grow back. You can do it until the summer. You see that? Do you feel that girl up there trying to sing? Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed the time we've shared together. Come on back now because I want you to see how good she's going to look. You know we're doing a mini makeover, right? So this is just part of step one. I want to say this. If you're going to color your hair with a permanent or a demi color, do not pre-scratch your hair yet because it's itching. Because you don't want to open your pores up and when you put this chemical on your hair, it's going to slightly burn. And you may not be able to leave it on as long. But if you buy this 20 I promise you, you don't have to buy this large size. I bought it because I have some other hair that I'm going to do with this. I'm just going to dip, bring it out. You know, everybody else be pacing the hair, I'm dipping. Mm -hmm. But that's why I bought, bought this larger size. You don't have to buy this larger size. This is a 20 developer for sensitive scab. I suggest you use this with demi or for your permanent color. Like I say, come on back to see the end results and I use once I went up because normally I do a long lengthy um, video but this time since she's pregnant I couldn't do a very long video in detail but once um, she allowed that color to sit on her hair for about 25 minutes we went over to the sink I put it on a semi warm water since she's pregnant and I rinsed her hair slightly and I add, added the shampoo in her hair while it still had the coloring in her hair. Now the shampoo that I use is for color. So it will not rinse all of that color out of her hair at once. And then I went ahead and used a well moisturized or conditioning on her hair, a conditioner on her hair. Now if you go to the store and buy shampoo or conditioning that's like a dollar two, you don't have to spend this all this money on shampoo and conditioner. You can go ahead and buy the cheap version and just add whatever your favorite oil to it to make sure that's going to be your first ingredient inside of your shampoo and conditioner. And that is almond oil or whatever oil you want to use, but I personally prefer the almond oil. So. That's all I have for you today. Come on back for another video after I do her braids because I'm going to dye my hair, which is great. So for all of you gray heads who want to cover up some of that gray for right now, come on back and I'm going to show you how to do that. But I hope you have enjoyed the time we'll share together until the completed makeover. Be blessed. Bye. Bye, y'all. You say bye, Dunkin' Doors. I said bye. Okay, bye, y'all. Thank <laughs> you.